why is in Olario. And uh, I think one of the best answers we have is by Manuel Schneider, who replied, uh, because we can. <laughs> Um, actually, Esino Lario will be a quite traditional uh, uh, event. We're going to have things like uh, accommodation, uh, connectivity, um, and uh, just to give you some details, uh, we have already uh, 738 uh, beds uh, in Esino Lario that are waiting for you. Um, also, connectivity, we just uh, made an agreement, a partnership with uh, EOLO, which is an important uh, uh, internet uh, company, and uh, they're going to provide us for free the internet uh, in Esino Lario, and it is a company that is specialized in uh, uh, complicated uh, connection, and uh, in particular in mountains and in rural areas. We also have secured a budget. We need to thank Wikimedia Foundation for our support of uh, 200,000 euro, and uh, uh, we've been able to double it, a bit more than double, with uh, Italian funds, so Italian grants. So the event is quite is taking a shape that is quite traditional. But there is also another aspect of uh, Esinolario that is going to be uh, quite similar to other events, other Wikimania, is that uh, it's going to be unique. So as every other event we attended, uh, also Esinolario uh, is certainly a bit unique uh, and uh, uh, in a way that we hope uh, is going to uh, facilitate interaction, it's going to be a good venue for work, working together. Basically, we're gonna, uh, it's going to take place in the entire village of Esinolario, a mountain village in the Alps, and uh, it's going to use uh, existing venues, and we're going to use bars and restaurants, and uh, using places that can uh, allow us to make our presentation, uh, get together, and make exchanges. Um, Esinolario, though, has two aspects that are a bit different from uh, other uh, previous Wikimania. Of course, we learn a lot from previous Wikimanias, and uh, there are certainly aspects that were present, but for Esino, we would like to a bit focus on them. And uh, the first aspect we want to focus on is uh, the legacy. Uh, we want Wikimania to be an event that doesn't last five days. We wanted to um, improve a territory, contribute to a territory, contribute to our movement, in particular in uh, Italy and in Switzerland, and we want the conference to produce the best impact and to be extremely productive for all of us. We also believe that uh, Esinolario is uh, um, a very um, specific place for the complexity of, uh, of this event and also um, a very little place that, that allows uh, people to think and understand why we say that anyone, anywhere can contribute. And uh, when I say contribute editing, I believe that it's not only um, contributing online, but it's uh, something that maybe our movement can teach uh, in a more broadly sense. The other aspect that uh, uh, we're going to focus on uh, for this Wikimania, for this next Wikimania, is uh, community. Wikimania is uh, our conference. <laughs> I also believe uh, what I mean uh, with this is that uh, Wikimania is not uh, the conference by Wikimedia Foundation, by the local team. It is the conference that belongs to us. And this means that you're all invited, not as an attendee, not as a person that just arrives to browse the conference, but as a person that participated in constructing it, in making it better, in making it what we want. Uh, and for this, we also need uh, uh, certainly more scholarship. This is something that we'd like to fight for because we do believe that the movement deserves more scholarship and needs to be also encouraged and helped to get to Wikimania. To go back to the initial... <laughs> to go back to the initial question, uh, is in Olario. Um, I've always dreamed to tell two things about Esinolario that I don't think other conferences will completely understand. So I hope uh, you might enjoy some highlights about this village. The first thing that might be you're not aware of is that Esinolario is actually in part of our Wikimedia community. Uh, it is a place that have uh, used uh, open licenses since 2006. It has uploaded content. And uh, in Esinolario, there are quite uh, important parchments and old documents. And uh, for example, the Rockefeller Foundation Bellagio Center archive, a large part of it is in Esinolario. And so you can find it on Wikimedia Commons in high resolution. And we received uh, the prize uh, in 2009 for uh, open archives uh, by uh, Wikimedia Italy. So the second thing that I wanted to tell you about Esinolario um, is something a bit more peculiar. Um, Esinolario has a theremin. 
Uh, I don't know if everyone among you know what a theremin is. It is an uh, electronic music instrument. It is considered one of the first uh, electronic instruments. And um, you can, uh, well, many of us maybe enjoy it because uh, uh, the Star Trek soundtrack uh, is made with a theremin. So, this is uh, the kind of music you can generate with one. And Esinolario has a theremin, but it has a very strange one. Uh, we have a a uh, six meter high theremin that we use to play with a falcon. <laughs> so, just to give you <laughs> an idea that maybe this little village can surprise you more than you imagine. <laughs> so, to conclude, bring some comfortable shoes <laughs> and we see you in Esinolario. <laughs>